Whether it's the Italian Mafia or Irish mobsters, movies revolving around the criminal underworld have been a fascination with fans since movies began. People have been able to relate to the struggle and looked up to the power that the anti-hero seized. Hello and welcome to the Mafia film genre. I'm your host, Pete Gibbs. Early documentary films such as The Burglar on the Roof and How They Rob Men in Chicago paved the way for narrative films such as The Great Train Robbery. Most film historians recognize The Black Hand as the first gangster film, though. The first feature-length gangster film was Regeneration, which Raoul Walsh shot in what remained of New York's Five Points. Decades later, Martin Scorsese, who was arguably the king of the gangster movie film genre, recreated this in the gangs of New York. A lot of people are hardworking people, mother and father, 40 years in the garment district working, but you know, there was that element of organized crime. The genre was most defined in the 1920s and 30s due to the social and economic instability caused by the Great Depression, with organized crime running rampant around the metropolitan areas. This era produced classics such as Little Caesar and Scarface. The 1940s and 50s gave birth to the film noir genre that was full of mystery and genre drama. Though film noir is not directly related to the mafia film genre, it did influence many of the modern mafia films such as Goodfellas. This era didn't have a lot of films in this genre, but one to note was White Heat. The 1970s brought, uh, brought a huge revival to the mafia film genre with the introduction of the Godfather series. This was arguably the golden age of the mafia film genre. The Godfather was a 1972 gangster mob movie set between 1945 and 1955 in, the New in New York starring Al Pacino. It received three Oscars and the success spawned two sequels. Let's be frank, you never wanted my friendship. You were afraid to be in my bed. Following the huge success of The Godfather and Al Pacino came the 1983 Scarface. Though this movie was not initially well received, it eventually earned enough success to become considered a classic in the movie genre. In 1986, Goodfellas was released and received six Academy Awards, making it arguably one of the greatest mafia movies of all time. He's a big boy. He knows what he said. What'd you say? Funny how? What? Just... You're, you're funny. The newest generation of Mafia films have been as impactful, if not more, than their predecessors. Movie like, movies like Reservoir Dogs and The Departed quickly became hits in the box office, making an impact into the modern-day gangster film. In 2015, Black Ma Mass was released, and it took elements of the Mafia genre while also incorporating dark themes and styles of the older film noir movies of the past. Whether or not you love to see the good guy win, we have all taken part in this guilty pleasure of watching the bad guy rise up to the top while we root for the Mafia films. We can never avoid the enjoyment of watching the bad guys rise up from nothing and take what they want, especially when they do it so well.